Alejandro Jarra, a senior lawyer now in Geneva, but also previously a senior negotiator of lawyer with the WTO. Let me ask you, welcome first of all to WT, to w, uh, uh, PC TV, but the simple question, how do you see the prospects for the two big trade deals that are on the horizon, the TTIP across the Atlantic and the TPP across the Pacific? Thank you very much. Great occasion. Uh, you just uh, practiced the British understatement of uh, as saying these are simple questions. They are uh, very complex. For one, uh, I we, we don't know what the animals are going to look like at the end, so it's difficult to say how feasible they are politically uh, or whether they make sense from an economic point of view. However, there are big gains to be had by bringing together, in the case of the TPP, TPP countries that have a lot of agreements amongst themselves to, under one wing and bringing new actors into the play and building a good model, presumably good, for more uh, trans-Pacific uh, economic cooperation. Um, and, and this is good, and this is a path that others may follow. But again, it will be the quality of the agreement that will determine this. Now, having said that, it, it will very much also depend on the politics in the United States and elsewhere, whether what is being required of them uh, is politically palatable and it depends how ambitious one or the other is. On the other side, on the other side of the TTIP, I think that there is a very strong economic relationship between the two actors and the world stands to gain very much by uh, an effort that has to be made in terms of harmonization of standards or coordination of standard setting or uh, mutual recognition. I think this is vital for their economies and for the rest of the world. Huh? So you don't have to manufacture one car for the United States, another car for, for uh, Europe. Having said all that, neither of these two exercises deal with long-standing problems of, of, of trade. For example, uh, agricultural subsidization, which is politically very complex, or light fishery subsidies, which allow many countries to maintain uh, big fleets uh, chasing a dwindling stock of fish to the point that today we have 85% of the stock of fish in the world in a critical condition. And that's very bad. Uh, so there are other aspects to which can only be dealt with multilaterally. And, 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 and thus these exercises are good, but they're incomplete and they absolutely need uh, also the multilateral uh, tract, if you will. On that note of uh, sobering realism, Alejandro Jara, thank you very much indeed. Oh, thank you very much.